Hey Scott, how's it going? Good. Good. This is MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio. I just want to say, how does it feel to put on a star-studded event like this? I'll tell you, I mean, <laughs> I, I've, I've been a part of a lot of great fights, I feel, in, in, in my career. And, and some I were, was just working when I was working for K1. We had so many great moments. I've watched so many great fights. And uh, in Strike Force, we've had so many great fights in, in that company. And, and I think this is the one, this is the one that you could, you could kind of check the box. Like, this is something that, you know, if you're a fight fan, you come to an event like this and you get to see it all, man. You get to see some spectacular fights, some tactical fights, some good submissions. Unfortunately, we had an injury early on tonight with a gentleman that, uh, you know, checked the leg kick. And uh, I mean, basically, he had a, I think he had a spiral fracture. Uh, on his leg, but you know, it's it's something that you know that uh, when you look back on the evening, I think we had something for everybody. But you know, I uh, this is why I keep promoting people. Somebody asked me the other day, said, "Oh, Ariel Hawaii asked me, he said, hey, you know, are, are are you thinking about retiring?" I go, you know, as long as I love what I do, which which I do, and I think I'm making a difference, which, which I think we are, uh, I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, tonight was a very entertaining fight. I had a lot of fun watching the fights tonight as a fan and. And I'm going to keep 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 rolling. Speaking about uh, making a difference, I mean, you've been a true pioneer in the sport. I mean, a trendsetter, if that being said. You're not scared to push the limits in that. Uh, would you see your guys' organization opening up to maybe like a 165 weight class? Or would you even be open to maybe some open uh, martial arts mixed competition to get some even more entertaining uh, fighters in there, maybe some YouTubers? Well, I tell you, um, I, I, we haven't talked about doing any YouTube fights, but as far as the weight class, if if the whole industry got together and said, look, we're, it, we'd be better off having more weight classes or changing the weight classes, I think everybody has to do it, not just us. But I think that um, the UFC would have to do it. We would have to do it. You know, one FC would have to do it. You know, Ryzen might have to do it. It's like you know, because it's not fair for the athlete to, you know, ha fight in lightweight in one weight class here, then he goes and fights over there. It's a different weight class. It's, I think that it should be, you know. Have some type of you know symmetry uh, among all the all the all the organizations. So if if that's possible, and that had to be let's say brought on by the athletic commissions, right? And if that was a real thing, yeah, we would support it. Why not? I mean, to me, uh, sometimes I think that the weight classes are too 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 big of a difference, and you know, a ten pound gap that's a lot of weight. You know, in boxing you have three divisions, you know, in that ten pound gap. So you know, it's something to think about for the future.